Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Outraged Texans aren't taking it anymore. Building huge surprise at border now for incoming criminals. I have been ranting about the facilities provided for illegal immigrant children who are separated from their parents or caretakers all week. The ones in buildings look like dormitories with clean, soft single beds. They have hot meals, clean clothes, medical care and are taught English and other studies. They have chores and are allowed several hours of play time a day. The average stay for these children, while their parents are adjudicated, is three weeks. It's hardly a concentration camp and these children are not abused. Please note, that of the 12,000 kids that have come over our border during this manufactured crisis, 10,000 of them do not have parents with them. However, as the crisis deepens and they send more and more children over as political pawns, authorities in Texas are running out of room to house the children. A proposal was put forth to house immigrant children in 10 cities across the Lone Star State. Texas is having to babysit thousands of children while the criminals who are either their parents, wards or traffickers are sent throughout the legal system. The children must go somewhere and they can't be out in the open in this heat. Tent cities are not ideal and I would hope that another solution is found. But at least Texas is handling the problem. All liberals are doing is complaining and using it as political weaponry. Texans have had it with this insanity and their solutions will come as a surprise for incoming illegal aliens who are nothing more than criminals. Leftists are having a field day with this as you can imagine. Which is funny because this started under Bill Clinton in 1996. A further law imposing it was signed by George W. Bush in 2008 and Barack Obama kicked it into high gear. Under his command, children were in cages, tents, and abandoned. President Trump is trying to clean up that mess and the Democrats are now dishonestly blaming him for all of this. It should come as no surprise that Democratic politicians are hypocritically bellyaching over all of this. The first soft-sided facilities, as the government calls them, have already been erected in Tornillo, Texas, a border town about 40 miles southeast of El Paso, said Kenneth Wolf, a spokesman for the Administration for Children and Families at the Department of Health and Human Services. Around 360 children will be placed in the air-conditioned units in the coming days and more could be added in the future, he said. However, State Representative Cesar Blanco said the move is dehumanizing and tarnishes Texas tradition of welcoming immigrants. Blanco, along with five other Democratic state lawmakers, sent a letter to the Departments of Homeland Security and Health and Human Services this week, calling the idea of tent cities and separating families at the border abhorrent and possibly illegal. A tent city is not a place for children to be, said Blanco, who represents El Paso and other stretches of the border. That's counter to the values not just of border communities but America in general. President Trump's administration is mulling the idea of using tents to house between 1,000 and 5,000 children at different military bases around Texas. Officials are evaluating Fort Bliss Army Base just outside of El Paso, Dias Air Force Base in Abilene and Goodfellow AFB in San Angelo as potential sites for soft-sided housing. The left is blaming Trump's zero-tolerance policy towards illegal aliens. As I said before, you can thank Clinton, Bush and Obama for that, not Trump. Congress is trying to solve the problem and Democrats are blocking a resolution. The left is furious that all of those coming across the border illegally are being charged with a misdemeanor. Well, they are breaking the law. By doing so, under the law, children entering the USA alongside adults fall under the Office of Refugee Resettlement's care while those criminal cases are pursued. The roughly 12,000 children being housed while their guardians are going through the system are being housed in an existing network of 100 shelters in 17 states that are at around 93 percent capacity. Make no mistake, this is a leftist tactic to overwhelm the borders and to force them to stay open so immigrants and refugees can keep flowing in. It provides the left with a permanent voter base and they will do anything to make sure that border stays open. In fact, they were sending around a recording yesterday where a child was crying for mommy and daddy. That child was not at an ICE detention center, the child was at a protest and they put him in a cage where he would cry so they could manufacture more propaganda for all of this. I'm sorry, criminals in the U.S. who go to prison are separated from their children. This is no different and I have no sympathy here for them. This is a revolutionary warfare tactic and we dare not fall for it. I'm not alone in this either. Zero tolerance is necessary in this point in time, said Jessica Vaughn of the Center for Immigration Studies, a Washington-based nonprofit research institute that promotes stricter immigration controls. It's clear that the previous policies were not doing the trick to deter illegal entry. It's called the rule of law. Break it and you face the consequences whether children are with you or not. That was the news.
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.